movie collection DVD VHS uh, end of the month. Uh, my snacks need to be looking as good as they are and I can get something coming in and hopefully by end of the year with the refund I can get another TV show. Um, that will be one big TV show then and Christmas, any Christmas money either be a TV show or could be a rare game or some music. Depends on how much I get then. So every year I'll add a little something extra but throughout the month I'm going to focus on my games, my CDs and some of the movies I do want to get to sale. And I still need at least one year in here to get caught up with the Atari games for sure. And then end of the year I can switch over into the uh, Super Nintendo, uh, Sega, a little bit of NES there. Um, and then throughout the spring I'll pick up some more Dolly Parton and a couple of the rare horror movies I don't have yet that are costing more money. Um, some people are giving, giving me titles so that's a good thing because I could tell if I have it or not. Um, a lot of them are getting rare and more expensive and either they have too much on the shipping and that's what I have to focus on so I have to sometimes pay a little bit more so I um, might be getting a little bit less and less each time. It's going to happen when you get a big collection you're going to start getting the more rare items and you're, you're going to have to pay more to get them and a shelving, I'm finished with all the shelving. I just need to look for our cardboard boxes to put the backing on. I don't know how much uh, like thin wood will cost or thin cardboard, but I don't want to invest money into a uh, backing either. Otherwise, I could paint these all. But for now, um, I do want to focus on in the spring on my Atari games a little bit, on my music and thrifting we'll see how things go maybe some more records maybe a record player or I do want to look for a big guitar as well uh, they can be anywhere from a uh, hundred bucks all the way up to two hundred bucks so that would be a big investment that could take up almost one TV show at least a smaller pack TV show that I could get but I do want to get a guitar and a harmonica for my uh, music practice. Um, this keeps me busy, so I'll do that. Uh, whatever else I can find, board games, thrifting, um, maybe some animation paper be nice to have. Work on a bouncing ball or something like that. So I like to practice my animation. But I don't want to invest into art. So that's why I don't do any painting. I don't, or otherwise I could buy a Bob Ross kit and just do some painting. But I need to put that extra money in my collection. That's why you have to continuously decide where you want your money to go. Do you need to buy clothes? Do you need to buy stuff for your room? Do you need to buy electronics? Do you need to buy stuff for uh, winter, for spring? Uh, so there's always something you need. So, but luckily I did not need to buy any clothes last year, and I was able to invest that money into my collection. And maybe uh, this year I could track track down some more uh, rare items and get some more of those items. But I'm gonna have to pay up on some things if I want to complete them. These TV shows usually have a little bit on shipping, and I haven't seen much for TV shows this year coming in. If I did see something I already have it. It's bound to happen. I'm not going to pick up any more dolls. I don't think I am unless it's something really unique then I'll pick one up. But I'll dig through the uh, board games. I'll see if there's any toys available. Um, if I can find this other season for Frasier because this is from a different set. So having shelving like this you could easily uh, figure things out and it's not about how you organize things it's about your shelving if you have your shelving and then you have your movies double stacked and piled up on top of each other and movies behind and you don't know what's really there until you have to pull everything away and if you need to do that on every shelf and it's quite a lot of work to figure out 
Star Trek is behind a whole bunch of things. Which one do I need? Do I need this one? Do I need to uh, change anyone? Otherwise, uh, like, complete three studios last uh, winter. I was pretty happy about that. Trying to complete I Love Lucy now. But it's uh, costing a limit on eBay to get it. But hopefully, at the end of uh, spring into summer, I'll, maybe summer, I will pick it up. I only need three more there. And I'll be happy if I get that. Um, and then I probably only need to get one more for Seinfeld. I still don't have that one. And see if anything comes up for Simpsons. And then I could work on Goosebumps a little bit more. But probably won't do Goosebumps this year. There's still a lot of games I want to come back into. I want to come back into some of Super Nintendo. Mario Kart's getting pretty expensive, closer to $100 now, so. And pick up a few more uh, early Dolly Parton albums. Uh, so I used to get five more I want there. Dig through some records, thrifting, and find some backing for these two. I'll have to take everything off just to put the backing on. And the spacing is really good here. But here for CDs, it's just a little bit too much, I think, so I might readjust that. I did the shelf, my first build, and it had so many mistakes, I might have to rebuy those two boards. Uh, otherwise than that, I might reuse them for middle shelving, but I don't mind buying two more boards if I need to for some project, but as long as I don't have to buy a whole uh, shelf, um, I could put something towards a DVD player or a record player, make sure my snacks are holding up, get a little something for VHS. I think still in about a year or two, I'll switch over into my VHS and probably need a good two years um, to get what I want. I have a list I go by, so and it's at least uh, two more years before I could get everything I want for my games and get Pitchfall 2 by then and Frankenstein at the end and then I'll switch over into my uh, toys so there's a little plan for every section so I'm not just picking things at random Rec even records I'm not picking at random like I don't need jazz, I don't need classical so I don't really listen to that though I might pick up one one or two here and there but I don't really listen to jazz or classical so I uh, just started listening to rap a little bit but don't don't have much in rap either and I'm, the shelf is looking really good now I did lower this a little bit so it's a little bit less of space here but Still, uh, it will still hold a DVD, and that's the main thing. And it's from scrap wood. I I just needed the top part to look even, not necessarily to be even with the other shelf, but it works out now. So I could put some little promos here later on, or something like that. Maybe uh, make another poster here for my poster area where I do my unboxing my popcorn, I got two bags still, don't use, eat popcorn that much but if I see something I could get for a good price then I will pick it up for the room uh, and that's how things are, that's what I do in here keep eye out for wood anytime I could salvage wood to make a shelf I might have to replace uh, some shelves I like to make the ones in the end a little bit higher but for now, I just made a little box on top, and it's okay. It'll it'll do for now. So that's the only thing I need to change back here. Would be these two uh, small shelves. But for now, uh, whatever kind of wood I can find, salvage, it'll do. Here I can make one a little bit higher. And if I need more space here for VHS, I can move these out. And these over here now. But I'll have to see about the spacing if everything's kind of got enough space. So just about enough for VHS. So 
I'll do that if I need to, but I still got a fair bit of room in the bottom for another year. A uh, fair bit of room here in Disney. Try to get what I can for Wizard of Oz and Mary Poppins this year. Although there's a lot of different variations uh, for Mary Poppins. So, because those are the two that I remember the most and Love Bug finally found one at the end of last year. Um, and just go from there, whatever else I could pick up. And try to get some more of these older movies. Um, now I don't mind having doubles. I should have kept some of them, but I threw out a lot of doubles. But I'm sure, I'll at least kept a few of the uh, horror movies. Uh, but anyway, I'll, I'll keep the uh, good ones at least that are like, memorable to me. I don't mind having an extra copy of it. Um, I'll never get Poltergeist uh, Part 2, but I got Poltergeist Part 1. Part 2 and Part 3 for DVD are in a double pack, so I don't know why it's not available in a single pack. It is available on Region 2, and that I don't collect that format. So, thanks for watching, because I never grew up with that format. My city never had it in Blockbusters and other smaller stores so I never got used to having it so plus you need a whole nother player and I don't like the way they look because I never grew up with it so I never got used to seeing them thanks for watching and I'll pick and choose some music so it's always something there it's not always going to be about the movies but if I don't have it I'll try to put it on the list maybe I won't get to it this year and maybe next year so I still need at least a good two years in here um, other than that, just pick and choose what I can for TV shows when I can. Thanks for watching. And just fix up these two shelves so I don't need to do any more shelf repair. But I will keep an eye out for some tools for woodworking if I come across them.